Hello everyone, welcome to my first video. My name is Jamie Lee and welcome to my new channel. On this channel, I plan to explore the field of data science and give informative tips to incoming and current international students here in the US. Now, you may be wondering about my channel name, Import Data. When you work on data science projects, one of the first things you do is to import data. And I, myself, am imported meaning that I'm imported from my home country. Shout out to my friend Francisco for helping me coming up with this channel name. And today I want to talk about how I landed a job in data science without a master's or PhD. Data science is a fast growing field and there's high demand in the current job market. However, the reality is that many data scientist roles still require a master's or some companies even require PhD degrees with a minimum of five years of previous experience. I hope this will change in the future, but this is what the current job market expects and we need to accept it. Now, if you want to land a job in data science without, a, without an advanced degree, here's some of my tips and suggestions. Tip number one, start learning machine learning and deep learning. Now, companies will be impressed if you showcase your machine learning or deep learning skills as an undergraduate. If your school provides machine learning, deep learning, or statistical learning classes, then go ahead and take those. If not, don't sweat. There's a ton of resources online from Udemy, Udacity, Coursera, or even from YouTube. So just pick one and start learning the concepts. Tip number two, start doing projects and build your portfolio. I follow a data science YouTuber called Data Professor and one of my favorite quotes by him is the best way to learn data science is to do data science. Now I can't agree with him more because you will gain more knowledge by putting data science into action. Get your hands dirty by doing projects on regression, classification, uh, clustering, deep learning, or NLP. Start putting them on your GitHub or on your personal website. Tip number three, make sure your resume is strong. Once you have understood different algorithms in machine learning and deep learning and have built your portfolio, start working on your resume. Now I follow another data science YouTuber whose name is Ken G. And on his YouTube channel, you can find more information on how to build a strong resume. I'll link his YouTube channel in the description box down below. Tip number four, don't focus on the job title, focus on the nature of the work. You should want to be a data scientist because you like the field and work, not because of the job title. Apply for data analytics or data analyst roles. And during the interview process, make sure you showcase your machine learning or deep learning skills. Junior data scientist roles exist, but it's rare to see them. Tip number five, interact with your network. This applies to any jobs, but it's very important to be proactive and that you reach out to your connections via offline and online. Ask for referrals as referrals play huge roles when selecting candidates. If you're referred by an employee at a company you apply to, then your resume will get to the top of the list. Last but not least, know your resume. Be ready to talk about the project you listed on your resume from A to Z. Companies usually ask the whole process, how you got the data, data exploration, data cleaning, model building, and finally the results. And it's also nice to talk about any challenges you faced and how you overcame them while you're working on the project. And that's all I got for today. Thank you for watching this video. And if you liked the video, please hit the like button and please consider subscribing. Thank you.